Hi guys, it's Alex from AWC and today we're down at AWC HQ and I'm next to my new uh, 2016 BMW M2. I've always wanted one of these for quite a few years. Funny enough, our first video with Edan from Landed Media was with the OG Long Beach Blue M2. Um, and ever since we uh, detailed one of those back in 2016 or 17, always fancy one. So it's been a bit of a dream car. And um, yeah, finally purchased one myself. It's a 2016 vehicle, uh, Long Beach Blue, 32,000 miles, and it was garaged since new in London. So um, the previous owners really cared for it. And you know, the seals, all the cracks and crevices are all really clean, which is great. Um, but there is a buildup of swell marks, there's scratches on the vehicle. Um, I'm gonna talk about what we did uh, when I went to view the car, talk about pre-inspection. And uh, I've done a few small bits, but today we're gonna do the full detail and get everything nice and sharp. Um, so follow me through the wash process and then we'll take it inside for the detailing stages. So first part of the process, as always, is the wheels. Um, now luckily it's just a maintenance clean on these. They haven't got any de decontamination build up because they were refurbished last Friday um, and they've been ceramic coated fully, infrared baked the coating on there too, um, alongside the arches. So we've given those a real good deep clean. I'll get Edan to insert a before and an after of the arches and as you can see 32,000 miles of build up and there are quite a bit of a difference between the before and after there. So with the wheels, just more of a maintenance clean today, we'll get the wheel cleaner on there and let that sit just for a few minutes. And now we'll get that rinsed off. So now we've done the pre-wash process on the wheels with the wheel cleaner, uh, we're now gonna go in with a few, uh, few little brushes. So I've got this one for the lug nuts. And we can also then use this just around the edge of the tire. And then we've got a nice soft mitt here. We can just start to work through the wheels. Just to remove any dirt. Now, because the wheels are ceramic coated, it is a far, far easier process this. It's really, really slick, which is great. And again, the beading is going to be fantastic, especially once they're all cleaned up. Now, so I can also quickly clean up the arches just with that same brush. Again, the arches are already really, really clean after they're deep clean. It's just again maintaining these just so they stay at that fresh level throughout my ownership of the car. So the wheels are all done now and we're going to work on the body so the paint needs a real good clean. Um, there's a bit of decontamination work to be done as well um, but first part of the process we've done is a pre-wash. We've used Koch Kemi Green Star. It's a 1 to 10 dilution if you do want to use that at home and you just spray that on with the usual bottle, leave that for about 1 to 2 minutes on the whole vehicle and then rinse that off. 
We're now in the second stage, which is our snow foam. This is our own AWC snow foam. Again, if you're using it at home, one to 10, um, maybe two parts to uh, eight parts water. Now, once the snow foam's on, we actually agitate this into the vehicle. Um, it gives a bit more lubrication and it really helps with that safe wash. It means that you're not gonna be adding any marring or swells to the paint. Now, before we start any of that, I'm gonna come into this bucket and find a brush and the brush is going to be used all around the crevices just like around the front parts of the grill all around your badges those kind of sections and then once that's done we'll go into the two bucket method wash we'll rinse that off and then we'll start with three parts of uh, decontamination We've got two parts chemical which is tar remover to start and then iron remover and then we'll go into the mechanical part which is clay barring so that's just going to smoothen out all the rough patches in the paint and then we'll get it inside and we'll start on the machine polishing process. So wash process is now all done on the M2 and we've brought it inside. As you can see by the previous shots, we've taken the wheels out. Um, I just want to show you around the arches as well as we come through. So these have been fully deep cleaned. Um, everything, like I said in the photos before, getting rid of all the mud and the grime and kind of coating as much as we can under here, like your calipers and some parts of the suspension. I mean, it has got 32,000 miles on it. It's five or six years old, so it is going to have some built up grime, but it looks pretty good. Now, with the rest of the vehicle, I'm going to lift it now. Now, I've got a paint depth gauge here, and this is one of the key things that I took when we pre-inspected the vehicle. I was looking for a vehicle that didn't have too much respray work. Um, and as you can see, as we place this onto the vehicle, 149 microns of paint, and we're looking for consistency throughout. So between 120 to maybe 160, 145, similar kind of results as we go around the vehicle. As shown. So the whole vehicle is factory, bar a very small section on the wing on this side. And there was, cause there was a dent and the, and the previous owner was very um, transparent with that. So half of this has got a blow in, um, which is where they just clear coat over um, the respray work. And we can sort that again with some of our polishing and the front bumper has had a respray as well. Um, the quality of the respray is pretty good. Around the bottom edges, it's a bit flat as you can hear now. Um, I'm not too fussed about that, but there is quite a lot of scratching across the front because it's slightly softer than the original paint. Um, we can't read 
unfortunately the microns on here because it's plastic um, but around the rest of the vehicle like i said we've got really consistent results which is great for paint thickness and we're going to start off with some of the polishing and then we'll go through to ceramic coatings onto the interior glass and finish off with getting the wheels back on so we're now at the rear of the m2 and we're going to do a 50 50 polishing the rear lights here so the left side we're going to leave untouched which is just what we've seen on the video and the right side we're going to polish now we've got a variety of polishers in the handy trolleys here we've got a flexed force rotation polisher and we've also got a roots lhr 75e this is a three inch pad so it's ideal for the smaller sections like at the back of the vehicle i've also got some cutting polish again some more down there and our trusty Kartik refinish. It's a fantastic refining polish. And then pads wise, we've got these. These are KKD cutting pads. They're quite soft, but they've still got enough to cut the vehicle. And if we do need to upgrade past that stage, we've got Meguiar's, uh, very, very popular, the cutting discs. And microfiber is gonna cut a bit more than the foam pads, but we'll see how the paint reacts first. Now with this section, we'll try the three inch polisher first. It's smaller, so it is gonna be better to get into all the tighter gaps. And I'm not gonna to go too crazy with polish first. I'm just gonna try the Koch Chemi stuff. This is like a mid cutting polish, so it's nothing too strong, but still enough to cut through some of the swirls. So let's see how we get on here. So we'll dab that around and then just make sure that's on speed one. And we'll just gently get that polish on the surface. And once that's in, I'm gonna up this to about four. It's a medium pressure today. Key to keep the polisher nice and slow building up some heat, not too much, and that will sl slowly abrace, abrace away those swirls. So what we normally find is once we've done the cutting that we need that second stage. So I'm treating this vehicle, the M2, as a two-stage machine polish. So once we've done the first stage, we then come in with the second stage, which is gonna be a lot more soft. Think of it as like a gentle refinish over the whole vehicle, and it will move anything like micro swirls if we have built up any. Nice, soft, gentle wipe on that. And now I'm expecting majority of the swirls to go. And, we sh and as I peel this away, You'll see the difference. Bearing in mind this does still need to be refinished because we have got some very, very fine marring from the cutting pads. But it's a very evident line there where you can see the difference. So now, now that's cut, we're gonna finish off the rest of the light. Um, and then once we get into the refining stages, which is once we've done the whole car, we gently go over that patch again and it's just going to make sure that the clarity is super, super clear. So onto the rear quarter of the M2, I can see a very few amount of fine scratches. Um, so these are slightly deeper than the top surface swell marks. I've got the flexed false rotation polisher, so it's pretty strong this thing and paired with the KKD cutting pad, again the foam version. This is the first pass on the actual blue paintwork, so we'll see how it comes up. If we need to upgrade the pads to something thicker, then we can. And again, the polish is still that mid-range Koch Chemi cutting polish. Again, if we need to raise that, we can. So we'll start off, get the cable behind us, and then we'll just work on a small patch. Start off with speed one. Just roll this in. And now we can run up to speed. We'll sit this at speed five. And I'm not using too much pressure to start with. So always go with one of the softer options to start. And then you can work your way up. Always do it that way. Now 
Now, I've been using Roots machines for the last six or seven years and only recently gone to the flex, the false rotation. So certainly still getting used to it. It's a lot, lot of a different feel to the Roots. Although it's smooth and silky and it has got a lot of power, it does throw you around a lot more compared to the Roots. But it, still a great polisher and something that we're uh, glad to have in the trolleys. So, got a nice soft cloth, we'll get this buffed off. And fingers crossed we'll reveal a really, really clean finish again. Now exactly the same as the light, we are going to hit hit this with a second pass later on which will be the refining stage and that's what's really going to bring out that clarity and the colour in the paint but this stage is all about you know the thick stuff removing the swirl marks and removing the scratches first I'm going to grab my light just to see how we get on Got a really nice clear finish there. Needs a tiny bit of refining but not much and there's a few smaller hairline scratches. I can now identify those once we've got the swirls removed and concentrate on removing those as best as possible within this detail. So pretty chuffed with that. You can see a really nice kind of colour now starting bringing things out and uh, yeah I'll carry on through the rest of the vehicle and then uh, try and aim for about an 80% improvement. Again, if I had more time, I can take it to 90%, 95% and 100% if we had days and days. But it's been pretty tough getting the car in the diary anyway, so we're uh, settling with a two stage and about a 70%, 80% improvement today. So now, working on the inside of the car, it is a very clean example of this, so there isn't too much build-up of you know, shiny sections around the steering wheel, um, and the leathers and stuff are still in pretty good condition, but everything can still need a good deep clean, even if it's wiped over every few weeks with the previous owner. So I've got a few products here. I've got an Auto Finesse bottle, and inside it is Kotkemi Polestar. We're gonna use that on all the leathers and all surfaces inside, including the carpets. And once we've done all the leather deep cleaning, we're going to apply G-Technic leather guard to all the sections. So first, first part, steering wheel. So we oft, often get asked how to clean these up just so that they feel nice and, you know, nice, nice to touch and also a nice like OEM finish as well. So a few sprays onto a detailing brush. And this won't leave any marks on any, any surfaces. So if there is a bit of overspray, it's not a worry at all. And we're just going to work this in nice and gentle with the steering wheel. And we'll have to repeat this process a few times on something that's super, super grubby and dirty. And each time we'll slowly reveal a new layer. So we'll start breaking this down now. You can also use other things like steam. And um, you just got to be careful again with the type of leathers and the different cars that we work with. There's different products for each of those. So now that's done, we'll wrap a 
microfiber towel around there and we'll slowly move that cleaner off. And what we'll be left with is a really nice satin matte finish. It's a common misconception that you don't actually want a glossy steering wheel because a glossy steering wheel means that it's full of muck, it's full of grime, full of oils from the hands. So we'll just get rid of all of those now. And what we'll be left with is a really, really nice, clear and clean OEM finish. So that feels great to drive with now and it just looks nice, crisp and clear. So moving on to the glass now, we're going to use CarPro Seri glass to prepare all the exterior glass on the M2. Once this is all done, it will all be prepared and then we're going to apply one of the best sealants that we've come across for the glass, which is G-Technic G1. Again, fantastic for driving in the rain. All the water shoots up the windscreen at about 40 to 50 miles an hour and just makes it super, super easy for the wipers to move all the water off the windscreen. So we'll start off with the polishing wires. Again, this is not to remove scratches, it's just to simply enhance the windows and clean them up and prepare them for the coating. So I've got a small bit of seri glass there and I'm just gonna do speed one or two and I'm just gonna get the product on there and just work it through. So we're now on to the ceramic coating stages on the M2. As you can see, the machine polishing has made a massive, massive difference to the clarity in the paint. Now, I'm actually applying Sequat's uh, ceramic coating from CarPro, and we're gonna apply that now. And we do two layers of this, and then we're gonna infrared bake, bake it. So some of the benefits are gonna be some additional gloss, but mainly that super easy maintenance over the next few years. Incredible water beading too, and obviously some uh, very small marring resistance as well for washing.
So the M2 after a whole week down here at AWC is now complete. I'd probably say this is one of the cleanest M2s in the UK at the moment. Obviously, bearing in mind it's got 30,000 miles and it does get used every day. So I'm sure there's a few garage queens there but everything's been about restoring it and protecting the surfaces. So I am still gonna use the car. Um, it goes on various track days and trips and you know the arches are gonna get dirty again, but everything I've done is all about cleaning, preserving, and then maintaining it in the future. So a few of those small little things that take this detail to the next level are bits like the honeycomb grill at the front. Each individual slat has had a ceramic coating. So again, you'll see that the front end basically looks like new. It hasn't got any of that tarnished old you know, dull plastic, it's really bright and fresh. Plates have been off, polished, coated underneath. Plates have been polished and coated too. And around the side, before I picked the car up, it had all like polished residue around here. So I've cleaned all that up with magic sponges and various rubber cleaners, and then put a coating on that too. So that's that side. Obviously all the paint, I've pretty much taken this to 95% correction rate. So the highest level that we can get on a used vehicle. And then we've locked in the ceramic coatings. That's really gonna boost the gloss and make the maintenance uh, schedule for myself super, super easy. Again, small things on the side. These have been ceramic coated alongside all the chrome as well. We've had all the wheels off. These have been refurbished really, really well by Alloy Art. And then they've been ceramic coated to the front face, the rear face. All the arches have been deep cleaned, steam cleaned and coated. And then round the back, just to finish off, exhaust and rear diffuser all back, brought back to life with ceramic coatings too so i'm so so chuffed and like i said this has been a bit of a dream car for quite a long time so to get it all detailed to get the private plate on there as well it's like the seal of approval so absolutely chuffed i'm sure you can see by my smile but if you'd like something similar done on your vehicle drop me a call it's 01702 219 694